Good morning, everybody. It's me, Sinatra Lennon, the Bob Ross of shaving. Hey, it's No Shave November. It's uh, like November 29th or something like that. It's time to do No Shave November. That's right. I can't do a full No Shave November because I just get, it gets itchy. It gets itchy. I don't like that. So we're going to do a miniature No Shave. I have, it's Tuesday morning. I haven't shaved since Saturday morning and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna for a little bit. Maybe, maybe one more day. I don't know. We'll see. But can you tell? Can you see the, see the gray beard growing? Now, I did shave under here because I got to do that, and that's what we're going to do right now. But also, after this little miniature shave, I've got a little unboxing uh, from a viewer named JR up in Fort Worth, who has a company that takes vintage shaving brushes, this is not one of his, and he reconditions them and sells them. So I'll put a link to his store. He was kind enough to send me a little box, which I haven't opened yet, and we're going to open it up and see what's inside there. Thanks, JR. Thanks for sending that, the, uh, the generosity of the people that sometimes send me things is, is, uh, is great. I really appreciate it. So let's do a little mini shave. I just took a shower, no shave November, and uh, high hair for the holidays, I guess. High hair for the holidays. No, not that kind of high. Elevated hair? No, okay. So we're gonna do uh, the quick, quick and dirty Barbasol shave just to get my neck clean under here because I can deal with the face being, uh, having, uh, you know, stubble on it. But man, down here, that itches like crazy. And if you're wearing a turtleneck sweater, then that causes all kinds of problems. Do people still wear turtleneck sweaters? I'm a big Beatle fan. They always wore them in the 60s, and so I sometimes like to wear them because I like to pretend I'm a Beatle. All right, let's do it. Down with the grain with the old Rockwell razor. Another very generous gift from a while back from the Rockwell Razor Company. And we're just going to get rid of this neck beard, as they call it. <laughs> Don't be a neck beard, folks. Keep it trimmed, you know? Grow a beard if you want, but keep it tidy. Don't let it get crazy. Do a little uh, upkeep on yourself. And that goes for everything, right? Exercise, eating right. Oh, going through that Thanksgiving, post-Thanksgiving, uh, now I need to diet shame. Oh, well. I didn't eat too much on Thanksgiving. Although I had one night where I ate too many leftovers. I woke up in the middle of the night regretting it and feeling every pound of the stuffing I had crammed into that sandwich I made with gravy and cranberry sauce and turkey and I even put some butter in it. Oh, I know. Shame. The shame. All right. So there, there we go. That's it. That's it for uh, the miniature no shave. No <laughs> it's the shortest shaving video I've ever done. And I'm going to rinse off. And, uh, oh, let me show you, you know, if you're not shaving your face and you want to avoid irritation, like I talk about, you know, I, my skin gets all red and irritated. Uh, even if you're not shaving your beard, use some, here, I'm going to use this uh, caffeinated aftershave just for my neck, just a teeny bit this morning. And, but I want to show you to avoid like red, dry skin. If you get that, I don't know, I do sometimes on my beard if I start growing a beard. Uh, moisturize it. I'm gonna I'm gonna reach over here off screen to my wife's section, and I'm gonna grab her little uh, this stuff. I'm sure this is not good for your face. It's for your body. It's Cetaphil. I don't know. So if you got a wife or a girlfriend or a boyfriend that has some kind of you know decent body cream, just rub it on your face. Rub it where your beard is, and try to get it through there. Now you might uh, not rub it in completely and then you'll have like a little white sheen from the cream on your, on your beard and make it look even older than you are. See that? Oh man, the older I get, the grayer I get. It's distinguished, right? It's distinguished? Sure, why not? We'll call it distinguished. That's what we say to ourselves. Whatever it takes to get through the day, right? So yeah, moisturize. I know it's... it's if you're like, if you're a guy like me, you didn't grow up hearing men should moisturize their face, but why not? Come on. It's, it's the 1990s, folks. Let's, let's do whatever it takes so you don't get, you know, skin irritation. Because that, that's no good. That's no good. You can be manly and still put your wife's 
body cream on your face, right? <laughs> if you're worried about that sort of thing. All right, so that's it. I'm done. Now let's go uh, and unbox this little box from JR up in Fort Worth. Like I said, I'll put a link to his uh, site where he sells these. I guess he finds these antique shaving brushes and then reconditions them and re-knots them and you know, makes the boar hair and the, and, the, and the badger and all that stuff. And who knows what else? Anyway, check it, check it out on the link below. And let's go to that. Guys, I made a huge rookie mistake in the upcoming unboxing video. Oh, it shows my age and I was trying to set up the thing by leaning the phone against. I filmed it vertically. It's a vertically filmed unboxing. <sighs> Sad, but it's too good. I, I unboxed them, they're all here. You can't see them, they're just out of the shot in this correctly filmed shot. Anyway, so stay tuned, you're gonna like what you see. And sorry again for the vertical video. All right, folks, let's unbox this thing. Like I said, this is from uh, JR up in Fort Worth. I'm actually going to use this box afterward to ship out an old iPhone I sold on eBay. So it's a nice to have this box, whatever's inside of it. Oh, look at this. Just wanted to help support your channel with a few shave items. I hope you enjoy them. Keep up the great content, my friend. I restored the brush and hope it treats you well. Oh, well, thank you very much, JR. And first of all, oh, look at this. Look at that, palm olive for men. Shaving cream. Is this, is this still a new thing they're making? Oh, made in Germany, look at that Hamburg. Well, that'll be coming up then, let's try that out. Put that right there. Oh, look at this, a plastic bag. You see the outlawed plastic bags where I live, so he knew that and then we're gonna, no, just kidding, you. packing material. That's a joke, folks. Oh, look at this little box. Whoa, look at this thing. Whoa, this looks old. What on earth is in here? Just open this thing up. Let's see. It's taped. This is an old looking box. Let's see. Whoa, wait a minute. Folks, hold on. JR, wait a second, guy. You this is a single-edged razor blade, which lends me to believe. Super iridium blades. Whoa, what have you done? Wait a minute. Wait a second. This is too much. And there's another blade in here. Wait a minute. This is a razor in here. JR, come on, man, this is too much. Oh, I know what it is, it's a, oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this, what is this? I mean, I know what it is, it's a razor, an ever-ready, single-edged razor. Look at that thing. Hi, folks, let's shave something. Wow. How old is this thing? My goodness. I'll have to do some research. Well, so that, if you've never seen a single edge, you know, I'm used to using the double edge razor. Well, this was a single one, like you normally see to scrape paint off of something. So this slides in here somehow. I'm gonna have to do some research because I've never used one. And then you use it to shave. Whoa, look at, and look at the, look at the uh, design on the handle. You see that? JR, this is too nice, man, come on. When you first contact me, you said you send a brush or something. That was it. Now, this is another razor. Guys, this is... I may have to share some of this love, some of this pay it, pay it forward kind of stuff, you know? Or if you get something, you pay it forward. Pay forward the kindness. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at this. This is a double-edged safety razor. What kind is this? Look at this, guys. Look what he sent. This is another vintage... What brand is this? Made in the USA. Is it Gillette? Whoa. Wait a minute. No, is it? Oh yeah, I can't tell. Yeah, Gillette. How old is this baby? Look at that. Oh, it's grungy too. You know I like, <laughs> you know I like my grungy razors. Well, I mean, it's been used a lot as well. I mean, it's not really grungy, it's clean. Wow. I'm gonna have to check the date code on this thing unless it has it on there. It's got a serial number, patent number. I can't read it, so small. Well, I'll, I'll do some research into that. Gold, too. Did you notice both these bad boys are gold? Look at that. This is JR, come on, man. 
Certainly my silly videos aren't deserving of all this. And that's, we're not even done yet. We're not even done. There's like two more things in here. And some more packing stuff. I'll put the packing stuff away. Let's get that box out of here. There's two more things. Oh, this, so here's a brush. This is, this is initially what I thought the only thing he was gonna send, which would have been plenty, my goodness. What is this? Oh, look at that, a badger brush. The vintage handle, look at that. Look at that beautiful patina, that kind of yellow. Made right, sterilized, set in rubber, pure badger, USA. A made right, with a real badger head. And this is the kind of thing that JR does. He, take, he probably finds these in antique stores, along with razors like this, like I'm always telling people, you can find these things in antique stores. But sometimes they're all used up, and obviously he took this one and refurbished it. That's a real badger. I don't think, I've, I've never had like a real badger brush before. This is a first for me. I don't know what to say. That's what I have to say against my beard that I need to shave. No shave November. Let's put that there. And one last thing, I, I, I feel guilty for getting all this. Here we go, lavender aftershave, perfect ending. We got the shaving cream, the razors, the brush, and some aftershave. Ginger's Garden Lavender Aftershave. I don't know if you can read that or not. Let's see what it smells like. Ah, oh, that smells good. It smells old fashioned. It smells like a manly lavender, if there is such a thing. JR, I. I don't know what to tell you, man. This is way too much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for sending this. This is really incredible. And, well, you know what that means. I'm going to have to use all these things in upcoming videos. That's right. I really am fascinated and a little frightened with this thing. <laughs> See? Lift that. Oh, okay. It lifts all the way up like that. Oh, it says something else on the inside. Ever ready? Brooklyn, New York. Made in the USA. Probably the 1920s or 1930s, judging by the style of the handle. Kind of an art deco. So you'd put the razor in there and then close it down. And then these, another double-edged, super iridium, double-edged razor blade. All right. Well, folks, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. This is an early Christmas present, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. And uh, she did too. So thanks for watching everybody. Thanks JR again. I will uh, have a link to your website down uh, in the description below so people can, uh, can, uh, can visit and, and maybe buy something from you. And uh, this, is, this is really cool. I love, it says set in rubber. This is rubber? It's like hard rubber. I guess like galvanized maybe, vulcanized? That's fascinating. Well, anyway, all right, folks, thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with, obviously, a lot more to do. I got a lot on my plate. Holidays coming up. No more gravy, no more turkey. It's all about shaving. See ya.